Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. I'm definitely feeling some of you are kind of awakening some type of new ability or gift or sensation. I don't know what this is, but let's tap into it. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have been experiencing some type of like new sensitivity to something or there's like if you did some type of like spell or some type of ritual or even just some type of healing or cleansing during this um, super moon that we had, the blue moon. And <clears throat> even that in itself, like the blue moon, something happens, it happens like what, every 10 years or some shit like that? I don't 100% know, but I know that it's a rare occurrence, right? Like it happens every so often. So there's something here where it's like, something is happening with you. I don't know, it's like a rare occurrence but let's tap into this. How are you guys doing? How's everyone doing? Hopefully good. If you are on a scale of one to 10. So if you're feeling uh, low energy, low vibration, just like shitty lately, um, if you're not doing so well, um, I'm so sorry. I'm sending you all the best and hoping things turn around very quickly. Um, it's been kind of heavy lately, right? Like, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it's just been feeling really freaking heavy energy lately. <clears throat> well, let me tap into this, so. Heavenly Father, Jesus, Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please help me tap into the collective here. What is it that they need to know with this new rare occurrence or rare ability that they're getting? What kind of downloads are they getting? Oh, I'm hearing the crows. Maybe you guys have seen a lot of crows lately. I don't know. <laughs> I got the image. I don't know if some of you do this, but sometimes I'll mimic the sound of birds. So I don't know if you also do that. Because I just got the image of someone like calling back to a crow. <laughs> or maybe you guys have some type of like Guys, like really connected with animals maybe some of you are having some type of um, there is a documentary or like a video I saw the other day <clears throat> of this girl I think her name was Anna uh, I don't know the full name I'm sorry was the animal communicator. So I wonder here if you're having a really big sensitivity to animals. Maybe you, I'm seeing cows, I'm seeing horses. Hold on, I, I dropped a card. <clears throat> 10 of earth, 10 of pentacles, you guys. Whoa. This is a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. I feel like you might be accessing some type of like connection here with, man, the crows are going crazy right now. Let me see if you can see them. Oh, you do. You know, last time they were doing that, they, there's an owl that lives in this neighborhood. There was, they chased off um, the, the owl from, <clears throat> the tree hmm crows work together crows are very intelligent they're very like group oriented this is talking about family this is talking about what is this I don't know if you have some type of like if there's something that is in your family or in your like bloodline or something, there's something here like in your lineage. Like maybe there is a, like a very spiritual connection with nature or very spiritual connection with animals here. I saw 444, which is home stability. This is all about family. This is all about, there's something here with the family or community even. Like maybe you're gonna find a soul family and there's gonna be some type of like elevation there. Ooh. 
and maybe there's going to be some type of No, let's see what else. Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me about this? Level up this gift, whatever it may be for the collective here. Eight of Pentacles. More Earth. So you might be an Earth sign. doesn't have to be. You could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or um, Taurus. Skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic. Going back to school. You're really putting your focus into this. So you're really like tapping in. So I feel like the, you guys might be doing like a lot of meditations. You might be doing like a lot of um, subliminals even. You might be doing some type of like practice to even, I'm even just getting someone sitting out in grass. You guys might be seeing a lot of butterflies. I've seen like 10 butterflies just in the past couple hours alone. Like honestly, it's there's so many over here but you know what, what else this is the divine feminine oracle what gift what power what sensation whatever it may be holy spirit that would level up is the collective here tapping into ancestors angels spirit guides of the collective in their highest light for their highest good Lilith, oh my gosh. So the first woman, I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. Wow. <clears throat> you guys are no nonsense. You're making a, there's going to be some type of decision where you might be leaving some type of stable situation and that is going to kind of kickstart this new I really want to say this is a gift because I feel like this is something that may be run in your family. So I don't know if this is, if you connect with some type of like Claire, like some type of psychic ability here that has been kind of like in family. If this resonates, I hope this resonates. Okay. Um, you might come from a strong lineage of women. If you are a woman, if you identify as a woman, you come from a strong lineage of women. It could be very powerful, um, headstrong, could be even the way that you voice. Certain things is like you do not let anyone um, kind of tell you what to do. You go to the beat of your own drum, like you dance to the beat of your own drum. I feel like this is could kind of be a similarity with past women in your bloodline. Sorry, I'm getting like a lot of stuff right now because I'm also getting like if you are a man I feel like this is also very specific to um, If you identify as a man, there's something here where you have some type of like you're carrying some type of ancestral um, Gift here, so I don't know if this is like I wonder if like when you hold things you see certain images or when you read things you're able to I don't know because this is like they're reading the books they're studying right so it's like you're studying something maybe you can get a good read on people I feel like this is more though I feel like this is a little bit more maybe this is you're kind of journaling maybe you write your dreams down maybe you have dreams that kind of uh, play out right like you maybe some of you have like psychic dreams or you have family members who have had like dreams before where it's like there's it for an instance like my mom when she had my younger brother because I, I can relate to this because the women in my family and my mom's side they are it, it's very spiritual they have like a lot of stuff there they don't really tap into that stuff because their beliefs are very strict and everything but it is kind of like one of those subjects we don't totally talk about because I, I came from a family that was just very religious and they just don't even though they experience it it's not something that is talked about maybe this is I don't know why I just divulged all that information maybe you kind of relate in some aspect here where it's like maybe your family doesn't really talk about certain things or maybe there's a kind of like a fear or it's kind of like a, a 
iffy subject that doesn't get brought up. I don't know what this is, but it's like maybe there's something here where it's like, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not dinner table discussion. Um, but I do feel like, uh, but going back to the story, when my mom um, had my younger brother, before that even happened, my aunt, I guess, called her on the phone. My mom always tells the story. But my mom said she got a phone call from her sister, and um, I guess my aunt had told her, like, you're gonna, like, had a dream, you had a baby, you're gonna have a boy. <laughs> like, and this is not the first time that has happened, you know? And, and even my roommates have, on account, like, my, they've noticed at times where I will be, if I'm like really upset or something, like my mom will call and she'll be like, I had a feeling. And the same thing will happen with me. Like I, I, I feel like maybe you have that same thing where it's like you feel, like you can feel when something's about to happen or you can feel when something's happening to those in your family who are close to you or even your soul family, whoever it may be. It doesn't have to be like blood. Although for some of you, for a heavy majority of you, this is very blood related, but I guess in terms of what I'm speaking right now, it doesn't have to be blood. Um, it's just you have that, like, you can tune in to people's, like, frequency or some shit here. There's, like, even telepathy, okay? I know that's, like, a woo-woo thing, but, like, telepathy. That, this was a discussion that was talked about in that video with, um, I don't, I need to look up her name. It was Anna something. I think it starts with a G, her last name, but she's an animal communicator, right? And she says that animals, like how they how they com conversate with each other is through images, through mental images. So it's like telepathy. It's like that's tuning into that frequency. It's really like getting in that mindset and connecting with that other other energetic being. And I feel like you have that ability, like you are able to kind of tap in. So I don't know if you are someone, I'm even getting like Snow White, ah, or no, uh, what's that, that girl, um, Giselle. Ah, ah. <laughs> you know, it's like outside and it's like, you have like animals coming to you. I don't know if you have like squirrels or maybe you even feed squirrels or you like something here with raccoons or horses or cows. I don't know. It's like, I feel like you are just like, very you have a lot of empathy a lot of love for animals wild animals especially you may be someone who really fights for wildlife or is um someone that really cares about other species like you genuinely you genuinely genuinely give a fuck which you know not a lot of people do i mean even just the way that people talk about animals right um even just the way that humans don't categorize themselves as kind of like an animal like we we're literally animals you know we're um but I, I, it's like humans always like to think that they're superior or better they're it's like no you're just more violent <laughs> but we're not gonna get into that um but th I guess this is something here like I don't maybe you're connecting with this on a certain level right like you just have a lot of empathy for animals and and I feel like you can really like get in tune with them you can really get connected with them um, if, if you don't have this ability I feel like this is something you can definitely develop even with the right type of like information the right type of tools there's something here where you can really like kind of gain that clarity gain that communication it's like you really have this like connection with mother earth even like Lilith the first woman it was like the first woman on earth right so it's like she Ooh, and I think it's like something here where you are able to make decisions that have even maybe that look to what others might consider devastating moments or what others would situations that would knock other people down and keep them completely like unable to move forward or it just takes a longer time to move forward I feel like you're able to bounce back like that um, you are someone who probably, or, I mean, you, I feel like you are someone who speaks their mind. Um, you may be someone who even speaks, if you are, some of you might be mediums and you actually like speak very directly with people. Like there's no, um, I feel like it's like, maybe this is something that like happens spontaneously is like, there's moments where you are like, I'm seeing someone like giving information to another person and it's like, both of them don't even know where that even came from, but it's like accurate, it's correct, right? It's like something where you can, you maybe have moments here and there where you have these like really accurate, like validating moments of like 
you knowing something that you shouldn't know but people around you are kind of like I'm getting the image of like someone being like a little freaked out so I don't know if sometimes you have situations where someone freaks you out 12 awakening Archangel Gabriel look at things from a different perspective a temporary standstill it's important to be yourself okay so maybe again this is going back to maybe there's something here where you are there is a new awakening there is this Ooh, for some of you you might have to do some kind of like meditation with Archangel Gabriel I feel like some of you do work with Archangel Gabriel or Gabrielle I hear from some of you maybe some of you think um, maybe um, the Archangel is represented to you in a more feminine or I mean, I hear Gabriella. Maybe someone's name is Gabriella or Gabby, Tracy, E, E. Names that end in E, like I, E, Y. Your story. Story. Maybe you guys like to read a lot or like to study this, um, Maybe you are studying animals, or maybe you're studying something here with like, maybe you're reading a book on on certain psychic abilities, or you are going to kind of try to develop them a little bit more. Like maybe you have them, but you don't really know how to like tune into it, or kind of turn it on, or turn it off. Like there's something here where there's kind of just like this, kind of this stu studying. Like yeah, you're 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 looking more into it. you're taking it more seriously I feel like like this is something like maybe you were like oh this, like this is a gift that I have but I feel like this is something that you're tuning into more you're honing your abilities you're honing your skills so eight of air an illusion of being trapped a lack of self-confidence afraid to take action okay so you guys might be um, doubting yourself on this or you might you might be blocking some of your gifts or your like intuitiveness or your whatever it may be however you connect it like your abilities here it's like there's a blockage here because maybe some of you kind of even gaslight yourself or you second guess yourself on what you think or what you're saying or what you're believing or like what you're feeling what you're channeling i don't know where there's something there's something here where it's like you kind of second guess certain things like maybe logic kind of comes in and, and kind of overtakes intuition right or there's something here where um your logical mind is trying to tell you like no this isn't like it's not really happening this way or oh that's probably it's like you try to rationalize certain things and which is you know fine and good but it's i feel like this is like an excessive amount where it's like you're you're getting yourself into this space where now you're kind of wondering if you are like developing it more or if this is like in your head type of thing or if this is or maybe you were even feeling persecuted by some family members with this. I don't know why I'm getting drawn to that with like the horse running and there's the other oh, horses in the back. What was I even saying about horses? Something here with horses. Some of you have horses or you grew up with horses or there's something to do. Maybe you do like horse therapy or you have, I'm going to say some of you have communicated with the horse. <laughs> like maybe. Shit. Who knows? I, who knows? Maybe you're out here talking to horses. Let me know what they got to say. I've only been on a horse once and that was when I was like really young and my grandparents took me and my brother. I think we like went to Burger King. <laughs> we went to Burger King and there was like these ponies outside and yeah, we, we, we sat on a horse and they took pictures and it was interesting. Oh wait, you know what? I lied. I, I think I've been on a horse twice because I remember vaguely an instance being on a horse with my and my stepmom was there. I the rest of that memory gone. <laughs> I have no fucking clue. Yeah, a lot of my a lot of memories be like that. Um, you might have met like this could be stuff that you've been dealing with from the past. Hold on king of fire okay hold on focus 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 communicate with vision and be a leader advice from someone creative you guys 
you might be dealing with some type of mentorship or you might be meeting someone who will mentor you or you are like maybe you have a family member who's kind of like mentoring you and not in a sense where they're saying outright like oh i'm your mentor but maybe you're just like learning a lot maybe even from your culture you know like maybe there's a lot of traditions and practices that you're kind of tapping into from like your culture or like digging into some ancestral roots like doing more research i guess on what it is and and um really just kind of like focusing in on that specific like that specific ability here it's like you really want to it's like you really want to sculpt it you want to refine it you want you want to use it to help others like I'm really getting that like you really want to be able to access this skill this gift and you want to be able to turn it on and off um, so I feel like that for a lot of you that's maybe what this is is like maybe you just don't have a certain kind of um, control on, on switching it on and off or or it's just very sporadic or spontaneous like it's just very you're gonna gain control though look at this high priestess some of you might be working with Archangel Hania um, even with the book again yes there's like studying here it's like listen to your intuition have patience consider carefully what you want before acting so don't when I read the consider carefully what you want before acting this is making me think of um, when we go back to where to go Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, sorry, I lost it for a second because I got a Snapchat and then I was also... Anyway, this is making me think of whenever... <clears throat> oh my god, I literally lost it again. I guess it's just not meant to be said. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Consider carefully what you want before acting. This is not having that like confidence in yourself. Like if you're about to do something and you're in that moment, I feel like you need to really tune into like your intention. Listen to your intention, listen to your intuition. Um, because there's something here where it's like maybe you second guess and that kind of like affects your ability or your gift or something here or affects your intuition it's like this is you're kind of blocking yourself with this second guessing here with this um i don't want to say don't be rational don't be logical because obviously please do but at the same time i feel like when you're really trying to tune into this you kind of have to let it let it loose a little bit okay you gotta let it loose a little bit make sure that you're being you're actually like listening to that intuition like you're really like tuning into what your body, what your intuition, what your gut, what your spirit guides, whatever it is, whatever, like you're listening to that. You're tuning into it, okay? Don't second guess yourself. Like you are literally so, I feel like you have these like, this tremendous guilt, this tremendous gift, but it's not something you're completely have access to right now. I think especially with the dreams for those of you who are resonating with the dreams if you're doing a dream journal I feel like some of you may be struggling to like even write down or even remember certain things so I would say before you go to bed even do like an intention even set an intention do a prayer whatever it may be call out to whoever your guides are whoever it is to kind of like guide you through it if there are some messages or some downloads that are supposed to come through in your dreams I would definitely do that before going to bed and keeping your space clear. Keep your, your area and your room clear whenever you are doing this. I don't know why, like specifically, but that's just the message that's coming through. Um, yeah, fire, fire, conflict with others, competing goals. So there might be some type of like, I don't feel like you're competing with other people necessarily. I feel like more, this is more towards yourself. It's like, I feel like you are very, like you push yourself. Like you really want to, you want it's almost like you want it now. I want it now. I'm getting a Veruca song. I want the whole world. Okay, let's see. I feel like the, yeah, you need to loosen up a little bit. You need to, um, there needs to be a little give. You know what I mean? Like there needs to be a little bit give. Um,
some of you might even be like motivational speakers or there might be something here where your gift is really the way that you speak I feel like your words have so much power like you are able to really transform your life and the lives of people around you that it I mean it could bring some you know distasteful perceptions of you just for the fact that you are just very transformative as a person and some people don't like change you know some people don't like when a mirror is brought up and held to them you know what I mean I feel like that's the kind of energy you're giving here but your words stick with people it's like what you say people can kind of visualize it it's almost like you show people a different perspective you give them a vision I mean maybe you do have certain visions and you tell people you tell people your visions maybe that's part of your psychic gifts here it's like you are someone who Maybe people go to you for certain things or like maybe you just give really good advice but it's like you actually, what you think is like really good advice or if people come up to you because you're just like never wrong about a person, right? Like if you have that that feeling where it's like you have a gut feeling about someone and people kind of go, like they know that you, you kind of have that skill, that gift and people go to you and ask you your opinion on certain people, that might be for some of you. Page of Aries, yeah, it's like logical, you're honest. Um, you're curious there might be again it might be some kind of like impulsiveness here there might be something here where even the way that you deliver information can be a little bit um, blunt but I feel like that's that's so you might have dealt with people who were kind of mad for you telling them if you're like a tarot reader you have like uh, like visions or something like that and you people come to you and then you tell them what you're seeing or what's what's in the cards and then they get upset and it's like, you wanted this. You wanted, I mean, do you want me to lie to you? I'm not going to do that. You can go to someone else for that, the book. <laughs> so I feel like that's kind of how you are, where it's like, maybe there's certain people who kind of get a little iffy. So this could resonate for people if you have like a channel or something like maybe, you, or you even have like your own business and you do workings, like psychic workings. Like maybe some, there's some people here who, I don't know. Um... Final messages here, Holy Spirit. Final messages concerning the collective's uh, psychic abilities here and their level up. What do they need to know? How can they get this level up? How can they get closer to this? You know, how can they really tap into this energy? Six of air. Move away from whatever it is, whatever situation that's kind of blocking you. I, again, I feel like this is more your self-doubt or your... I feel like this is really just kind of like moving away from these thoughts of yours, these binding thoughts that keep you in a box, that keep you from moving um, forward, right? It's like you, you really second guess yourself. can they do that though I mean even this bottom of the deck seven of fire defend your beliefs and decisions stand your ground it's like you're you're, you're really even look at these images they're both riding these dragons okay so it's like you are in control here even look here the page of air with the animals surrounding them you have such a connection here with nature with animals I feel like you are you get your best answers in nature you get your best downloads you get your channeling you get your connection through nature you get it through um the animals around you could even be maybe you even just have like maybe you live in an apartment in the city and you have a dog right like maybe you just have like a little little shizu or a chihuahua or something like that i don't know you know whatever it may be but i'm, I'm just getting like someone like it doesn't even have to be that you're out in the middle of the, the fucking forest you know what i mean to connect with animals there's animals all around there's nature all around us and I feel like once you get to this spot, maybe you maybe you even have to go to a place um, to kind of hear this next message or to hear this next, to connect with your spirit guides or to connect with whatever animal is, is you know, nearby. I'm even getting the image of like, again, if you're going to some type of place and you're sitting out in nature, you're finding some type of park or you're finding something, I'm getting the image of someone like feeding squirrels or like feeding birds or something like that. And it's like, you're, it's like giving me Snow White energy. It's just like, it, it's a Disney princess type of energy. And it's, 
doesn't have to be gendered like this is not a gendered thing like man or woman I'm just it's someone is sitting there and it's just like you give this like uh, even here it's like charismatic uh, charismatic it, it, you're you just have this like quality about you there's this air about you where you are just animals are even drawn to it you have this loving nature you're just really one it, I feel like okay maybe you're at that point where it's like you realize that we are literally all connected I'm even getting the color of the wind song can you paint with all the colors of the wind? You can only earth and still. All your own is earth and tear. So there's something here with the, maybe there's something in the lyrics there. I, you're just very in tune. It's like you think of, even with like, um, in different like Native American, like in different cultures, right? It's like the plants have spirits like maybe you are a type of person who feels like yes like that's my cousin my brother the river is my friend and, and it's like we're all connected everything is in connection here and so it's like you even i'm getting the image of someone who's like out maybe you even communicate with trees okay like i'm getting the image of someone like literally having their hands on bark and it's like you can feel maybe even some of you i'm getting that i know it's an expensive device but there's something like a plant song a plant tuner or whatever it's like that you can put it on the plants and you can hear music ah, it's like you hear you see things from a different perspective like yeah we, we even had that card um where is it what was it look at things from a different perspective you do you literally look at things from a different perspective you see things it's like consciousness i don't know there's something here it's like you're really tapping into this you're really I feel like some of you just really have that ability to connect with animals. I keep getting animal communicator. So this might be just very specifically for someone here. Um, even with Gabriel, he is the messenger, right? He's that, that bridge, the, the bridge here. So it's like you're kind of like that, that bridge here. So whether it be like the bridge between you and spirits and people, or it's you, animals, and people, there's a bridge. You are a bridge, you're that channel, you're that you're that connection I just feel like you have to kind of move towards maybe you have to physically go towards to um, I don't know like a park a, a beach an ocean or some a river a lake uh, I don't know somewhere where there's nature because again I caught the image of someone in an apartment like a tall apartment building with like a little dog and it's just like city everywhere so maybe you just kind of have to go to some place that there is a little bit of nature around and if you can't like maybe there's just something here where you have to like you maybe you listen to subliminals or you kind of put on um like the rainforest tunes and kind of just like sit in your living room and have that playing in the background and, or like the atmospheric type of videos where you have like the sounds of the forest or i don't know it's just something here where it's like you really connected to nature which i mean <laughs> That, I mean, you all are my people then because we're literally, I, I, am, I love nature. I feel the same way. Um, oh my God, King of Pentacles on the bottom. Yes, I love it. I love it. A successful time, confident, confidently accept opportunities, opportunities you're offered. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk. Um, the Midas touch. You are so connected here. Look at that. Look at that. I love it. I love it. You find beauty in everything and you're very grounded you're very secure in yourself as well I, I feel like if you're not secure in like your psychic abilities it's like you're secure in yourself you're secure in in who you are as a person so it's like you're not afraid to do that study you're not afraid to take that next step I feel like some of you guys are not even afraid to like appear you know woo woo <laughs> it's like because you know you trust your gut your intuition holy spirit your guides ancestors like you trust you know that the information is coming from a higher source you know that it, you're giving that gratitude you're giving that credit you're giving that that you're, you're very humble okay so that's i feel like that's also one of the reasons why you're being gifted as well because and there is some type of elevation happening because i feel like if you were to misuse this or if you were someone who t who were to take advantage or be kind of cocky it would kind of be taken away Dude, you got the moon, Archangel Haniel again. So yeah, some of you are really working with Archangel Haniel. Haniel? Haniel? Um, very loyal. There's something here where you have a very loyal spirit. I don't know if some of you have like a dog or, or cat spirit that's around you as well. Um, very heavily on the dog. I'm seeing a dog and a wolf here. So it's like a very, um, 
I send them a very loyal presence around you. Or maybe this is like your spirit guy, your spirit animal. Like maybe you're a spirit animal as a wolf. Um, and this says here, important psychic in insights. Oh my gosh, I keep burping. I'm so sorry. Important psychic insights. Events behind the scenes. Release fears that hold you back. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, release the fear, the release the doubts, release the second guessing, whatever it is that's holding you back, bottom of the deck, defend, believe in yourself, believe in yourself, okay? You believe in yourself. Know that you are tapping into that higher power. Like if you're putting in the work, like I know you are because you have eight of pentacles, like you're literally putting in that work, there is gonna be results. Maybe you can't see them right now. It's hidden a little bit. But you have to trust. It's like you have that trust. You have that faith. Um, I see the 18. The 18th might be significant for someone. Maybe the 18th of a month or the 18th. Birthday. Maybe someone had some type of like revelation on an 18th birthday. Or something happened when you were 18. Or maybe even 18 months i don't even know but that's what was coming through hopefully that helped hopefully this wasn't too all over the place um yeah i would really just suggest going out in in nature or bringing nature to you bringing nature in your home or experiencing it out there i feel like that's when you're really going to connect and kind of reach that you're, you're good it's like a dial tone right it's like you're you're, you're trying to find that right my video got cut off because of the storage, so I'm just going to make this quick because I don't know how much I have left. But I was just saying, like, it feels like a dial tone. It's like you're really tuning into that right frequency. You're trying to find the right station. You're, you're, it's on. you got the radio station. It's like the, you, got, you have stuff coming through, but it's like you're trying to find, you, you need that message. You need the right station so you can get that message. And I feel like once you get in that setting where you're, you're really like in tune. I'm really, again, I'm getting someone who's sitting down in the grass or just like sitting in their house with like this audio in the back, right? I don't know what this is, but I feel like some of you need to meditate more or, um, yeah, I think I kind of feel like that's, there needs to be some meditation here. Maybe even some of you like meditate while you in the bath. I don't know. Maybe some of you do that. I don't know. Be careful. Be careful when you do it and stuff like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to end this video now. I hope you guys have a beautiful day wherever you're at or evening. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and I hope you're treated as you treat others. Bye, guys.